Aaron Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So we're going to take a look here at natural gas and crude oil and see what's happening. And then we're going to take a look here at Netflix. Now, they had their earnings yesterday. We're going to see how they're doing today. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, now before we get started here with the old Natty Gas, I just want to show you here you can go to Avatrade and then you can get all the contract roll dates right here for pretty much anything that you want, okay? And it's all free. Just punch it right on up here uh, and everything is right on there. So what we're going to be looking for here is we have the crude oil, which is going to be Sunday, and then we have the natural gas, which is going to be Sunday. So that's what we're looking for. So just go to Avatrade, punch it up, and you can get all the contract rolls uh, yourself. Or, you know, you can come right here, and I got it right here for you. Okay, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Okay, Natural Gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, pointing out here, by the end of the day, we want to close up about this 1.753. What are we sitting at? 1.748. Okay, so we're sitting there pretty much right on it here for the week. Uh We'd really like to close above that, um, and then if you could, then we can, you know, look at all the top of these candles here, and then we have a nice big target up there at 2.168. Now, again, with that that roll date here on Sunday, this is what's going to happen here beginning of next week, okay? So this is what we had last time, and you can see where the futures are much higher, so this is going to pop up just like that. But that does not mean, again, I want to just reiterate that UNG or BOIL or KOLD is going to do the same thing. Those are ETF exchange traders funds and they just don't work like that you're going to pop up here on the netty but not on the etfs okay so this is what you're going to watch so obviously it will pop up here and then we'll see if we can hold it now last time we had a nice pop up came down a little bit held that eight SMA, and then we had a nice good run on all, all the way up here then it came down held a 21 day which was even nicer because you had a higher low then she ran up here and then came down retested and then we lost it now we had three green days, we had three green days, and so far we have three green days. So we've got to see if that's going to be it, if she's going to come flying back down or not. Now, if you watch the video this morning, I've been pointing out right here. Okay, 1.758, 1.748, 1.76. Reese right here, just call one point, say 1.6. You need to close above, otherwise you're just not going to go higher. Now, you can spike higher like we did today, 1.806. Okay, so you say, well, how did I get there? Well, you just want to look to the left here. What do you have? 1.802. This was the resistance right there. So always look to the left of your chart because where it's been is usually where it's going to go. Okay, so that was your resistance. Now, again, <clears throat> if we can close above all this and get above these key levels, then you have a nice target up here. You got a 1.85. You got 1.89, 1.92, and then there's your retest, 1.943, and then this is what you're looking for, that 2.0. Very, very key. There she is when she slammed right into the old eight day, okay? So that's what we're looking for there on the upside. On the downside, obviously, you want to watch today's low, 1.72. Uh, you have 1.71 here. You have uh, 1.66, and then we have the bottom there at 1.649 which lines up right across here with all that support. See how nice that support is? Always look to the left of the chart, right off the top of that candle. See that line going across? Look how nice that support is, okay? Now again, if that is lost, then you got 1.589, that is gonna be your target, okay? So right now, you just have to get above all this resistance to go higher, so let's, we'll have to see next week how this is gonna pop up and see where it's gonna be. Now, UNG was a really good trade, and actually, I found it to be very, very easy today. Now, UNG here in the pre-market, now remember, pre-market is your friend, okay? There's a lot of really good buying opportunities. Now, UNG got all the way down to 1425, okay? Now, I didn't get the low, but I got in at 1430. Then she rallied all the way up here. It got as high as uh, 1480. I didn't get the 1480, but I got 1470. So I got a nice 40 cents, okay? And I cut my position down, like I said earlier, from uh, uh, 5,000 shares down to 3,000 shares, so I had 3,000 shares times 40 cents. Really, really nice trade. Now I'm on hold. I'm sitting on my hands. Yeah, it's not easy, but I got to wait and see if you're going to get above this and close above these key levels, this 1.76 level. So sometimes what you got to do is take what the charts give you, not what you want. But that's a real easy 40 cents there today. The same way with crude. Now, crude had a really good 
uh, uh, like they came into uh, a bottom pad. Well, we'll show that a little bit later. But I, I, anyway, crude was a good trade there on the UCO2. It was a really good scalp. It got as low as in the regular market as 3304 and got as high as 3356. Um, that was very, very good there. And I got 40 cents out of that. So that was also a very, very good trade. Okay. So that's how you got to look at things. Just take, you know, what the market gives you, not what you want. And on Friday, remember, Never go in there with a loss because you're going to be pissed off all weekend. And then that revenge trade comes in on Monday and you're going to be, it's not a good luck. Okay, just not a good luck. Just go in there real peaceful all weekend long. Have a great time. And then business as usual on Monday. Okay, so if the trade's not there, don't take it. Anyway, on the upside, this is what you want to do. 1.76, this needs to close above. Not intraday like this, but close above. See, this is why you trade the charts. Okay, if it can't get above that, it's not going to that 1.943. On the downside here, we can watch all these key levels here. And if they're lost, at 1.64 area is lost, then you can have your target there at 1.589. Okay, let's check out a uh, hourly and a four hour. Okay, here we have the own any guess. Hourly and we have the four hour. Now, I posted this there the other day. We had a really nice sell off down here. It couldn't hold this area here, but then we made a nice double bottom. See how you put in 1.64 and then we put in a higher low. Okay, that's what you want, that 1.66. That always tells you that's the time you want to get long. Okay, when you put in them higher lows where it sells off, but it doesn't make that, that bottom there, it makes a higher low, that's always easy. Now, again, there's their red dog, where a lot of times what it'll do is they'll come slam it all the way down, and everybody thinks, I'm going to short this, and then she rallies right back up, and then it'll eat you alive. But when you notice that the charts, where did it go? Right into that 200 SMA here, same way here. Now, you popped above it, but that doesn't mean nothing. It came all the way down. Now, your eight, uh, 50 SMA here, looking very good. That needs to hold. If you can't hold that 50 SMA, then you're going to look right down there to that 1.72. And then we have your 100-day here at 1.72 flat, okay? So that's what you want to watch here if it can't hold that 50 SMA. On the upside, you really got to get above that. There's that 1.7677 level. And then we got to get, if we can get above this 1.8 level here, like we had here, then you can go right up high. But what we had is you had 1.802, and then here is your 1.806. So what you got right there is a double top situation now, and then she sold right on down. The question is, can it rally right back up? But what I like about this is low, higher low, higher low, higher low situation. See how this is graduating up? Now, again, it has to hold it. You start losing these this 1.72, well, it's good night, Irene. It's not going to happen. It's going to be just like what we had here. So... When we sold right on down here, we had this nice gap. That was very, very key, and it held that right at 1.649. Then, again, if that is lost, right there, 1.6, look to the bottom of the candle, and then there's a retest at 1.58. But right now, it's not really looking that bad, okay? See this? This is not looking bad, okay? So we got to hold these key levels at 1.72. See, it's on every chart here now, but you got to blast through all that resistance that 1.76, 1.78 level. And if we can close above that 1.8, then we're looking pretty good because then we can just start going up to the next level. See, 1.84. Then we come here, just bring that price channel right across. And there you got 1.89. And we have here, you got 1.90. Uh, uh, and then we just 1.92. And then there's your big retest at 1.94. Again, we got to see how it all shakes out. But right now, this chart is not looking very, very bad. The key is you got to close above that 1.7677 area. Once you do that, then she can rally higher. Okay, let's take a look here at the old crude. Okay, here we have the crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, here's what we got. We really want to hold this key level. See this? 82.34. And 82.14. Right now you're sitting at 82.37, so you're just above it. It can spike down. That's fine. See, just like it did here. See how this 200 SMA? Look how nice it spiked all the way down, but you notice that it closed above there for the week. That would be very, very bullish if we could at least close above there for the week. If we lose this and it comes away on down, well, then your next target is going to be right here. Okay? That's 80.55. And then we have another target right there at 80.30. That's going to be your next support level, and then you can work your way all the way down here to that 50-day and even to that 21 SMA here. But if you can hold above that, that's not bad, okay? Now, your MACD, your green is over your red, still showing bullish momentum. Uh, RSI rolling over a little bit here, eh, not, it's not too bad. Again, this is a weekly chart, so it takes a little bit of time. 
Now, here on your daily, well, look at here. Look at old Sticky. He's all lit up in green. Old Sticky. Now, we had that big pop up here, and this came early in the morning I don't know, uh, because you know, basically what happened was uh, Israel attacked Iran, um, and then they found out that it wasn't really anything of that big of a damage kind of a situation. Um, now, I'm not talking about people wise, don't get me wrong here, okay? Because any damage to people is not right, okay? But what I'm looking at here is the oil facilities, okay? There, if there's damage in oil facilities, that's what they thought was going to happen. And this would rally up very, very, that's why it rallied ran up. Then it came right on down here, okay? But again, this whole Middle East situation, I personally have been trading oil for a long time. And I can't see where this is going to be settled here anytime soon. So this is the kind of action that you're going to have to get used to until there's some kind of a control or some kind of a peace agreement or something that's going to go on in that region. OK, so that's what you always have to look at. OK, so now, again, when you look at this site here, we have no opinions on this site here. OK, um, we leave politics to some other people, some other site. All we're talking about here is just the crude oil and how to make money off the oil long and short. That's all we talk about here. OK, so just always remember that. OK, there's nothing personal at all towards anybody on this site at all. OK, the only color we have on this site here is green. That's what we want at the end of the week in your pocket. That's how we trade. So look at all sticky here. But if you notice that now, yesterday's low, we had 81.06. Uh, today's low, we had 81.13. So we had a higher low kind of a situation. And we're holding this key 50 SMA here. So downside, very, very key levels is you want to watch this 80.92. Very, very key. And then we can come to this price channel at 80.30, which is the bottom of that candle right there. And then we come over here to your 79.78, 200 SMA. That is exactly what we're looking for on the downside, okay? Obviously, if that is all lost, then we can come here to this uh, uh, 78.45 and 77.24 here, but this is very gonna be very, very strong resistant. Even though it blasts through, see, just like this here, that doesn't mean anything. You gotta close up on it. So that's what we're looking for. Now, here on the upside, what we wanna watch is the bottom of, the, uh, of this candle. You're looking at uh, 82.55 and then yesterday's high. That's 82.84, okay? So that's going to be upside. And then we just go right to the left here, okay? 83.12, and then we have uh, 83.21. And then we'll come right to the bottom of this candle, which is 83.85. And then we look right there. That's going to be your big boy, 84.09. And then right above it is 84.43. Now, again, if we can get above all this, we can follow the candles all up here. But you know exactly all we do is follow the top of the candle so you have your breakout of 87.67. But this is going to be very, very strong uh, resistance level here, okay? Unless you get a catalyst like we had old Sticky here, then she can pop up. But you notice that it didn't close above it. That's going to be the key. Okay, so key levels to watch is watch that 50 SMA and watch this 200 SMA here on your weekly chart. Upside, watch that 21 SMA and then watch this 8 SMA. Very, very key. So this is the range that we're trading here, okay? Now again, UCO was a good was a good scalp. I only had the one scalp so far today. I cut my shares down from five thousand down to three thousand shares with the forty cents. So I was satisfied with that. Remember, this is Friday again. I know, I know, I'm preaching over here. I ought to be in a pulpit or something. But I'm just saying, you just don't want to go out on a losing basis at the end of the week. It's just not good. Okay. So watch that twenty one on the upside and this fifty SMA here on the downside. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here at Netflix. Okay, now Netflix had really good numbers yesterday. Let me bigger up a little bit here. Okay, now Netflix had really good numbers, big subscribers. The reason this is selling off here is basically one reason. What they're going to do now on their earnings starting, I, I believe it's starting next year, is they're not going to give out their subscriber numbers anymore. So it's going to be very, very hard to tell what Netflix is going is doing. OK, so that's why this thing is selling off and selling off really, really hard. OK, so let's just look at here at the downside first. So what we want to watch is on a weekly is you want to watch 550.42. That's your 21 SMA. If that is lost, we'll come right over here to your 550.17. So you know that these two are very, very close and it should hold this key support level. Now, again, if it doesn't hold that level here, then what you can do is you can come over here. Uh, we want to look here, what do we have here? 549, okay? So that 550, and then we have 549. And then we'll come over here to this candle, 
You're looking at uh, uh, 548.46, and then this is the what you're really looking for right here. This is your gap, okay? That's 537.07, and then we want to look to the top of the candle. There's your fill at 498.96, okay? Your gap, 537.07, and then your fill right here at 498.96. Now, you always hear me talk about these gaps and fills. It's like a magnet to a fridge. It just wants to go right there, okay? Now, again, if all that is lost here, you do have, uh, you know, your 484 all the way down here, and we do have your 50 SMA at 471.32, but let's just see if this 100-day here holds first. If not, look to that gap and that fill. Very, very crucial here on, um, on for support levels. Now, on the upside, you left a big, big uh, gap going here. So what you want to do is look at that upside. That's 579. Okay, that's 579. Now you got to look all the way up here to the top, okay, at 605.43. So you have 579, there's your gap, and then look to your fill there at uh, 605.43. Okay, so again, another gap in the fill, it's just to the upside versus the old downside. So you have a lot of ways here to run. And obviously here, what you do, if you can get in this area, then we can just follow the candles all the way up here. But the ultimate goal is to get right back here and get above that price channel there at 601.59. Okay, now Netflix is going to be a good buying opportunity here. The key is you just got to be patient. Right now the market is just selling off, rolling over here because really what is happening is the Fed came out and what I've been telling you here for months they're not going to be cutting any rates. You're going to be lucky if they're not going to raise rates. Inflation, way too high. If you don't think so, here's what you do. Get out of your house and go to a grocery store, and you can see the inflation is still there, okay? Get on Zillow and look at housing prices, still there. Look at rents. Look at a car lot, okay? The prices are totally inflated. Look at the wages, what's going on, completely inflated. And the Fed sees that. And the last thing they're going to do is cut rates and then have to turn around and raise rates. Okay, so now everybody says, oh, they're not going to be six cuts. They're going to be three cuts. They're going to be two. I can tell you right now, they're not cutting at all. I can see that you can, you can see this right now. They're not going to cut. You'll be lucky if you're not going to raise here. Inflation is still way too high. And it's all going to be data dependent. That's why this market is getting hammer time. Okay. Uh, that's what we got for you. We've got the Natty Gas, we've got the Crude Scheme, we've got Netflix. Um, I'll be back here after the pick close, and we're going to go more in-depth on crude oil and natural gas, and we'll see how we did for the day. Okay, thanks for watching.